a prime meridian is a meridian, that is, a line of longitude, at which longitude is defined to be zero a degree. A prime meridian and its opposite in a 360 a degree system, the 180th meridian, form a great circle. This great circle divides the sphere, for example, the Earth, into two hemispheres. If one uses directions of east and west from a defined prime meridian, then they can be called eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. A prime meridian is ultimately arbitrary, unlike an equator, which is determined by the axis of rotation the euro, and various conventions have been used or advocated in different regions and throughout history. History The notion of longitude was developed by the Greek Eratosthenes in Alexandria and Hipparchus in Rhodes and applied to a large number of cities by the geographer Strabo. But it was Ptolemy who first used a consistent meridian for a world map in his Geographia. Ptolemy used as his basis the Fortunate Isles, a group of islands in the Atlantic which are usually associated with the Canary Islands, although his maps correspond more closely to the Cape Verde Islands. The main point is to be comfortably west of the western tip of Africa as negative numbers were not yet in use. His prime meridian corresponds to 18 a degree 40 feet west of Winchester today. At this time the chief method of determining longitude was by using the reported times of lunar eclipses in different countries. Ptolemy's Euro unregistered trademark S. Geographia was first printed with maps at Bologna in 1477 and many early globes in the 16th century followed his lead. But there was still a hope that a natural basis for a prime meridian existed. Christopher Columbus reported that the compass pointed due north somewhere in mid-Atlantic and this fact was used in the important Tordesillas Treaty of 1494 which settled the territorial dispute between Spain and Portugal over newly discovered lands. The Tordesillas line was eventually settled at 370 leagues west of Cape Verde. This is shown in Diogo Ribeiro's 1529 maps R. Pound O Miguel Island in the Azores was still used for the same reason as late as 1594 by Christopher Saxton, although by this time it had been shown that the zero deviation line did not follow a line of longitude. In 1541, Mercator produced his famous 41 cm terrestrial globe and drew his prime meridian precisely through Fuerteventura Aventura in the Canaries. His later maps used the Azores following the magnetic hypothesis. But by the time the Tortilius produced the first modern atlas in 1570, other islands such as Cape Verde were coming into use. In his atlas longitudes were counted from 0 a degree to 360 a degree, not 180 a degree W to 180 a degree E as is common today. This practice was followed by navigators well into the 18th century. In 1634, Cardinal Richelieu used the westernmost island of the Canaries, Ferro, 19 a degree 55 feet west of Paris, as the choice of meridian. Unfortunately, the geographer de Lisle decided to run this off to 20 a degree, so that it simply became the meridian of Paris disguised. In the early 18th century the battle was on to improve the determination of longitude at sea, leading to the development of the chronometer by John Harrison but it was the development of accurate star charts principally by the first British astronomer royal, John Flamsteed between 1680 and 1719 and disseminated by his successor, Edmund Halley that enabled navigators to use the lunar method of determining longitude more accurately using the octant developed by Thomas Godfrey and John Hadley. Between 1765 and 1811, Neville Maskline published 49 issues of the Nautical Almanac based on the meridian of the Royal Observatory, Greenwich. Maskline's tables not only made the lunar method practicable, they also made the Greenwich meridian the universal reference point. Even the French translations of the Nautical Almanac retained Maskline's calculations from Greenwich a Euro in spite of the fact that every other table in the Connaissance des Temps considered the Paris meridian as the prime. In 1884, at the International Meridian Conference held in Washington, D.C., 22 countries voted to adopt the Greenwich Meridian as the prime meridian of the world. The French argued for a neutral line, mentioning the Azores and the Bering Strait but eventually abstained and continued to use the Paris Meridian until 1911. List of Prime Meridians on Earth, International Prime Meridian In October 1884 the Greenwich Meridian was selected by delegates to the International Meridian Conference held in Washington, D.C., 
United States to be the common zero of longitude and standard of time reckoning throughout the world. Prime Meridian at Greenwich The modern Prime Meridian, based at the Royal Observatory, Greenwich, was established by Sir George Airy in 1851. The position of the Greenwich Meridian has been defined by the location of the Airy Transit Circle ever since the first observation was taken with it by Sir George Airy in 1851. Prior to that, it was defined by a succession of earlier transit instruments, the first of which was acquired by the second astronomer royal, Edmund Halley in 1721. It was set up in the extreme northwest corner of the observatory between Flamsteed House and the Western Summer House. This spot, now subsumed into Flamsteed House, is roughly 43 meters to the west of the airy transit circle, a distance equivalent to roughly 0.15 seconds of time. It was Aries transit circle that was adopted in principle as the prime meridian of the world in 1884. All of these Greenwich meridians were located via an astronomic observation from the surface of the Earth, oriented via a plumb line along the direction of gravity at the surface. This astronomic Greenwich meridian was disseminated around the world, first via the lunar distance method, then by chronometers carried on ships, then via telegraph lines carried by submarine communications cables, then via radio time signals. One remote longitude ultimately based on the Greenwich meridian using these methods was that of the North American datum 1927 or 27 Namibian dollars, an ellipsoid whose surface best matches mean sea level under the United States. IERS Reference Meridian Satellites changed the reference from the surface of the Earth to its center of mass around which all satellites orbit regardless of surface irregularities. The first satellite navigation system, Transit, selected in the 1960s as its reference meridian on an Earth-centered ellipsoid the longitude on the 27 Namibian dollars ellipsoid of its development laboratory halfway between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. These identical numeric longitudes at a location remote from Greenwich caused zero a degree of longitude on an Earth-centered ellipsoid to be 5.3 inches east of the astronomic Greenwich Prime Meridian through the airy transit circle. At the latitude of Greenwich, this amounts to 102.5 meters. This was officially accepted by the Bureau International de l'Air in 1984 via its BTS-84 that later became WGS-84 and the various ITRFs. Due to the movement of Earth's tectonic plates, the line of zero a degree longitude along the surface of the Earth has slowly moved toward the west from this shifted position by a few centimeters. That is, towards the airy transit circle since 1984. With the introduction of satellite technology, it became possible to create a more accurate and detailed global map. With these advances there also arose the necessity to define a reference meridian that, whilst being derived from the airy transit circle, would also take into account the effects of plate movement and variations in the way that the Earth was spinning. As a result, the International Reference Meridian was established and is commonly used to denote Earth's prime meridian by the International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service, which defines and maintains the link between longitude and time. Based on observations to satellites and celestial compact radio sources from various coordinated stations around the globe, Aries Transit Circle drifts northeast about 2.5 cm per year relative to this Earth-centered zero-a-degree longitude. Circa 1999 the International Reference Meridian passed 5.31 arcseconds east of Aries Meridian or 102.5 meters at the latitude of the Royal Observatory, Greenwich, London. It is also the reference meridian of the global positioning system operated by the United States Department of Defense, and of WGS-84 and its two formal versions, the Ideal International Terrestrial Reference System and its realization, the International Terrestrial Reference Frame. A current convention on the Earth uses the opposite of the IRM as the basis for the international date line. List of places, on Earth, starting at the North Pole and heading south to the South Pole, the IERS reference meridian passes through. Prime meridian on other planetary bodies, as on the Earth, prime meridians must be arbitrarily defined. Often a landmark such as a crater is used. Other times a prime meridian is defined by reference to another celestial object, or by magnetic fields. 
the prime meridians of the following planetographic systems have been defined. The prime meridian of the Moon lies directly in the middle of the face of the Moon visible from Earth and passes near the crater Bruce. The prime meridian of Mars is defined by the crater Ario. The prime meridian of Venus passes through the central peak in the crater Ariadne. Two different heliographic coordinate systems are used on the Sun. The first is the Carrington heliographic coordinate system. In this system, the prime meridian passes through the center of the solar disk as seen from the Earth on November 9, 1853, which is when Richard Christopher Carrington started his observations of sunspots. The second is the Stonyhurst heliographic coordinate system. Jupiter has several coordinate systems because its cloud tops are Euro the only part of the planet visible from Sparshia Euro rotate at different rates depending on latitude. It is unknown whether Jupiter has any internal solid surface that would enable a more Earth-like coordinate system. Scientific astronomer uses System 2 coordinates, based on the mean atmospheric rotation of the north and south equatorial belts. System 3 coordinates use Jupiter's magnetic field. Titan, like the Earth's moon, always has the same face towards Saturn, and so the middle of that face is zero longitude. See also, First Meridian East, First Meridian West, maps by Prime Meridian Maps in Wikimedia Commons by Prime Meridian, footnotes. References, Burgess, Ebenezer, 1860, Translation of the Sia Siddhanta, Journal of the American Oriental Society 6, Google. PA 185er, Dolan, Graham. The Greenwich Meridian Before the Airy Transit Circle. The Greenwich Meridian of Dolan, Graham. WGS 84 and the Greenwich Meridian. The Greenwich Meridian of Hooker, Brian, A Multitude of Prime Meridians, retrieved January 13, 2013. A, Norgate, Jean and Martin, Prime Meridian, retrieved January 13, 2013. A, Sobel, Deva. Andrews, William J. H., The Illustrated Longitude, Fourth Estate, Londona, External Links, Where the Earth's Surface Begins a Euro, and Ends, Popular Mechanics, December 1930, Scanned TIFFs of the Conference Proceedings, Prime Meridians in Use in the 1880s, By Country, Canadian Prime Meridian.